Here's a wood with lots of trees. One, two, three. What can you see? Yes, it's a house. A house in the trees. Four, five, six. A house made of bricks. Seven, eight. We mustn't be late. Shall we knock? But wait, the door is opening. What can you see? Nine, ten. I can see a pen. I wonder what the pen is drawing today. Yes, it's Lizzie. It's Lizzie Witch. But where is Lizzie? I can see lots of bubbles, but no Lizzie. You've seen her. I didn't see her. You've seen her again. Next time you see her, you must shout very loud. Look, there's Lizzie. Oh, hello, Lizzie. There you are. That's a lot of bubbles. Let me guess. Today's topic is about bubbles, isn't it? Yes, I thought so. Now, I wonder what colour Lizzie has chosen. Is it blue? No, it's not blue. Is it yellow? No, it's not yellow. Is it red? Yes, it's red. Lizzie has chosen red for the colour today. Red, like a red pepper. And tomatoes are red. And Jumble Tuff says he is red. And look, here's a pen, a red pen. I wonder what letter it is drawing today. It's the letter S, which makes a sound Snake. Snake begins with the letter S and the sound S. S. Sock. S. Salt. S. Soap. Here are the numbers. Which number do you think it's going to be today? Will it be one? Or seven? Or five? Or four? Yes, it's number four. What is Jumble Tuff doing? One tomato? Two tomatoes, three tomatoes, four tomatoes. I think he's counting. One, two, three, four, four. Tomatoes, four red tomatoes. Well done, Jumble Tuft. 
And here's Lizzie with her number line. Do you want us to count, Lizzie? You do. Right, are you ready? One, two, three, five, six. That doesn't sound right, Lizzie. Should we try again? One, two, three. Oh, there's a number missing. I wonder what it is. One, two, three. Oh, can you think what the number is? Lizzie's going to find it. Yes. It's number four. Now we can count all along the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, Lizzie. Well done, everyone. Well, Lizzie's very good at magicking bubbles, but I'm sure you've made lots of bubbles as well with these. What is a bubble? What's inside a bubble? What happens when you do this? What was I putting into the bubble? Yes, it was air, wasn't it? Because I was blowing. And when you blow, air comes out of your mouth and it goes through this film that is on the little blower. And when you blow through the film, It creates a bubble. Let's watch Hand making some bubbles. He's got normal water there and not much is happening. He doesn't seem to be able to make any bubbles. But now he's adding some detergent, some soap. And look, there are lots and lots of bubbles forming. You can't make bubbles with just normal water because the surface tension of the water is too high. But when you add soap or detergent, it reduces the surface tension of the water. And the soap and water together form a film which traps the air inside. Did you know you could also paint with bubbles? It's really fun and very quick and easy to do. All you need is a bowl with some water, some paint and some detergent or soap. Then you mix it all together and get a straw and you start blowing air into the liquid. When you've got lots and lots of bubbles, you need to be quick because you must get a piece of white paper and put it on top of the bubbles. Can you see the bubbles forming underneath? That means it's time to take your paper off and there you have a bubble print. You can try it with lots of different colours, but we've used this colour today because this is our colour today. Do you remember what colour it is? Yes, it's red. And we have a story today about someone who is red and whose house is red, and that is Sally Strawberry. Sally Strawberry lived in Strawberry Cottage on Five a Day Hill. Sally loved listening to music. She liked dancing to music. She liked walking to music. In fact, she liked doing everything to music. 
One day, Sally went for a walk. She was so busy listening to her music that she didn't look where she was going and fell down a great big hole. Down, down, down Sally tumbled and landed with a bump in a cave. She sat up and rubbed her head. Where am I? she said. I wonder which way I should go. All around there were little root people waving their arms and shouting directions to her. Could Sally hear what they were saying? No, of course not. She was too busy listening to her music. Maybe I will go this way, thought Sally, dancing her way into a green meadow where cows and sheep and pigs were grazing. The sheep barred, the cows mooed and the pigs grunted. Could Sally hear them? No, of course not. She was too busy listening to her music. Sally danced into the next cave. This cave was filled with sea and waterfalls and fountains and very noisy frogs. Roar, roar went the waves. Trickle, trickle went the fountains. Croak, croak went the frogs. Could Sally hear them? No, of course not. She was too busy listening to her music. Sally danced into the next cave, which was filled with very noisy and colourful birds. Tweet, tweet, said the sparrow. Coo, coo, said the pigeon. Twit, twoo, said the owl. Could Sally hear them? No, of course not. Just then, Sally's headphones got caught in a twig and fell off. She bent down to pick them up. Then she stopped. She listened. Suddenly her ears were filled with music. But this was a different kind of music. Music she had never heard before. The music of trickling fountains and crashing waves and croaking frogs. The music of cows mooing, pigs grunting and sheep baying. The music of buzzy bees and chattering monkeys and rustling leaves. The music of birdsong, of life, the music of nature. The little root people looked at Sally and smiled. They nodded their heads at each other. Now she understands, they said. Sally climbed out of the hole and continued on her way home to Strawberry Cottage. Did she put her headphones back on? No, of course not. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to read the full story about Sally Strawberry, you can find the book and many others on my website. Why don't you try thinking of a story yourself and telling it with pictures? These illustrations were just drawn simply using ordinary coloured pencils. You can do the same. So that's all from me, Judy, and from Lizzie Witch and everybody at Jumble House until next time. I hope you've really enjoyed the programme and that you will subscribe to my channel. If you like bubbles, you'll find lots more activities on my website.